If you've ever heard whispers of Yellowstone threatening to wipe out civilization or wondered what truly makes a volcano super, you've come to the right place. We're going to unravel the science behind these geological titans, from how they form to what they mean for our future, all while busting some myths along the way. So what exactly is a supervolcano? It's not just a fancy name, it's a classification based on the sheer scale of an eruption. Most geologists, especially in the US, agree that a super eruption must rank an 8 on the volcanic explosivity index. This means it ejects a minimum of 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. That's a lot of ash, pumice and lava. To put that into perspective, the famous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which turned day into night in some places and blanketed 11 US states with ash, was a VEI-5, ejecting about 0.67 cubic kilometers of material. Imagine that, but 500 times stronger at a minimum. These immense eruptions often lead to the formation of a caldera, a massive basin-shaped depression formed when the ground collapses after an enormous volume of magma is explosively withdrawn from beneath the Earth's surface.